pray. Gracious Father, our shield and defense, we look to you in these challenging times. Lord, the shooting at the congressional baseball practice reminds us of the importance of numbering our days. May we refuse to boast about tomorrow, for we know not what a day may bring. Lord, surround our lawmakers with the shields of your protection and favor. Fill them with your spirit, causing them to walk in your statutes and keep your judgments. Lord, you know better than we what lies ahead for our lives. So lead us like a gentle shepherd. We claim your promise in Hebrews 13, 5, that you will never leave or forsake us. Guide and inspire us all to follow your plan for our lives. We pray in your merciful name. Amen. Yeah, he didn't go through a contractor. Okay, so his, so yeah, his was only twenty five. So I have seventy five dollars worth, and I have fifty, so one hundred and twenty five. Okay. <laughs> call the meeting to order, please. All rise. Sure. So we did start working on the grant. Um, 
for the blight remediation project for 300,000 um, through the GIDA with the hopes of, oh, sorry, we do that. So, with the hopes of all five municipalities taking part in that, I'm going to read Township after here to talk with um, them about it. I'm talking with the Cary Township tomorrow night, and I think our governor, for, or our governor I'm talking to on Thursday. And then White Township, I've been in contact with, but their next meeting is the 20th, so that's when I'll be speaking with them. We're writing the grant with hopes that they're going to be part of it. If not, then we'll just take it out of the budget, their portion of it, and they would just give us the support of it instead. Um, I did find out right now for Clearfield um, Borough, you guys have one property in the possible point so that's the that's the ideal one for us to go for because they've already went through judicial sale we would just have to have an abstractor look at it to make sure that they did indeed get everything white free and clear um, that property is on Colbert Street um, on the on Colbert, Col Colbert and I believe that's behind the Napa building um, Colbert me Oh, Colbert. Okay. C-U-L-V-E-R-T. Okay, Colbert. Thank you for correcting me on that. Um, and I know we have two properties on Main Street for sure that there was discussion about. Um, I think they were up for judicial sale, but judicial sale was canceled because of COVID and they've not rescheduled that yet. So I'll be paying attention for that. We'll go ahead though and write the, the plan for at least two properties in Colbert. Okay. Do you guys have any questions about anything? Anybody have any questions on from Mary? No. So once this is set up and going, then it's all good then, right? You're just gonna let us know from the last two meetings you have, right? I'll just keep you posted on everything. We're gonna the grants do July 31st, so we're planning to have it submitted before then ideally, but if we need to, we'll take it to the deadline. Um, what we'll need to do as a community um, is we'll need to reach out to local uh, political figures like GT, and I think Sankey is another one, and let them know that the grant was applied for and that people are interested in it. From everything I've gathered about this grant, it's a very political grant. So the only way you're going to get through, um, even if it's the best grant in the world, if you don't, you don't have that backing, um, you're not going to get it. They're only awarding seven in the state. so. And you said you're meeting with our donor on Thursday? I think they're meeting Thursday. Okay. So, um, that's last Thursday. Oh, last Thursday. So I'll, I'll get up with them. They, they talked about it and they, and they sounded like they were in favor. Of I'll get a hold of them. That was it. I'll just schedule another time with them. And you know who you're contacting for the hour? Yeah, I do have contact people. Thank you. Um, because I was in, I had been calling them and then I just, so I, but, um, I know it reads right after, like they're at seven as well, so I'll hit it right after. Um, the grant is not announced until spring. Um, even if we don't get it though, the advantage to this is we can actually ask the grantors to meet with us or schedule a call, and they can explain to us why we didn't get it. Um, and then we as a community have a really strong structure moving forward um, when we find other funding opportunities. Okay. Anybody else have any questions, comments, concerns? When's the deadline? July 31st. This, this year. Correct. This is through DCED? Yeah, DCED, uh, Department of Community and Economic Development. Thank you. Yep. Anybody else have any questions, comments? Uh, that's borough and GIDA, or is this? this it's all GIDA, all five municipalities have the opportunity to be part of it. Okay. We're looking at um, just trying to do two properties on each, within each municipality. This is smart. Two letters is nothing. Okay, it's about it's yeah. it's about where we were when we first started. Anything? Anything else? Are the audits going to be done before July 31st? What's that? The audits. The audit is done. It is. For 18. For 2018. And we're getting ready to get a jump on 2019. Anything else? 
the taxes for the federal, have they, have they all been paid? The and federal taxes would be fines. Up until this point, what we have been notified of, we have been uh, contacted by the IRS, and as we have been contacted by the IRS with um, their fine amounts, they have been paid by the borough. Anything else? Have we been notified for when the repayment of the flood control monies that have to be repaid? Have we been notified of that? We've heard anything about that. No. Not that I have. I haven't been notified about that. Thank you. Uh, what, was the, what was the one question you just being asked for? Uh, sorry, I have a hard time hearing. Can you repeat your, what did you ask? About the flood control? Oh, my flood control, what is that? About the IRS. The IRS, yeah. Have, uh, has anybody spoke to them to find out what we are going to owe and what the total fines are going to be? We have received fines from them, four quarterly fines. She has the statements in okay. the office and yeah. we have paid them. We made motions to pay them okay. and they were paid. Okay. Any penalties? The penalties have been paid. Yeah, that's okay. That's just what it seems What's holding up the clearance then if everything has been paid? The IRS clearances or the IRS fines have been paid. We are now working on the the um, Social Security and the uh, 941 reports. The what? 941 reports. The 941 reports? Yeah, those were all oh, those were the IRS. Those are the IRS, and those are the fines that have. Yeah, been but paid. if he's referring to the Z block, like I think he is. That's all the reports that were filed in directly for 18. Okay, all right. Those are it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? This mess wasn't made overnight. It's not gonna be cleared up overnight. We've been working on it for over a year. As unfortunate as it is, You want to talk about the audit you're talking about, Barbie, right? What's that? You talk about the audit for 18? No, the yeah. audit for 18 is done. Yeah, I know that. I talked to them today. I'm just, right. Uh, no, I said the mess that is that we're trying to clear up now wasn't made overnight, and it's not going to be cleared up overnight. Are they going to present uh, the audit as they did in 2017's audit? Uh, you mean somebody coming in and going over? Yeah. yeah, I haven't talked to them today. If you, um, we have here that we're going to on finance treasury report. We have 2018 on it, but we'll be discussing that later on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other questions? Well, 
it's my understanding that you're not going to get this grant either. We're you, not. We're not. We, as a Coalport Borough, is not the one applying for this grant. He is. It's his grant, not yeah. ours. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, until we get 19 done and find out where we're at there, we're going to be pretty much, um, you know, with what we wanted to come in, with what we were hoping to come in this year, uh, we're, you know, we're going to be struggling a little bit. So um, hopefully uh, she is to call me tomorrow about when her and Mr. Lane can come up and do that. I like ordered me to be in the evening. And when we can see about starting on 19, so they did give an extension for 19 past July 31st. But you know, I would hope that maybe we can get ours done by the end of July. So that's uh, we've got some work to do. And, uh, you mean 2019? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, 2019. So. Because DC and D is going to look at that. Yeah, 18 has already been approved. Um, what's the gentleman's name? Um, May I request that I be yes. notified when you're going to have the audit uh, meeting that I could come? There's Mark Saunders, Mark Saunders from uh, from there has already approved the great team, so. Any other questions? Comments, concerns? Thank you for the privilege. Well, can you give us an update on the number, please? It's all fixed. We've been cutting. Yeah, the other day there we had a drip, but we got a new seal and we installed it, and it doesn't leak anymore. Great. So that was the problem with the seal? Yeah, we caught fire. Okay. Yeah, just a wee little drip on one of the bolts. Okay. We don't have to make any drips to do it. Right. We were fortunate. Yes, we were. Yeah, we put a new. Uh, Okay, more than two. Okay. They got to looking at it and um, decided that there was no need to involve the insurance company, felt it was an easy fix, um, cleaned it all up, and um, or fixed it all up, and it cost us less than what was the cost? Uh, of it? Probably $35. dollars $35. $35. There's a so there was an insurance plan on this. Do we have a deductible with the insurance? Yes. yes. So that's why we, we discussed it, had a meeting of the minds, and decided we weren't making a claim if it was going to be that's a cheap yeah. fix. Oh, sure. you you do that. Okay. Anything else? Minute part update. Um, I had gotten a letter from Cummings Law Firm. Um, she had been alerted that our new hearing date is July 29th at 11. And where's that going to be on? Um, the annex courtroom. Anybody need to go to that or is she doing it all on a it was at like one of those conference things. Um, as far as I know, they didn't have their conference because of the COVID. So that's what they might be doing now is having their status conference. Please find out if anybody representing the borough camp is to attend that hearing. The judge will look more favorable if somebody is there. We should, yeah, we should be. But the thing how it is, if it's not a hearing hearing and it's between like mediation between the two um, attorneys, we are not to be there. And the judge won't look favorably on that. We're not going to mess this up at this point of the junction because no, we've I, come too far. You should still have somebody there. I, I can give a reference to the reason why I'm doing that. 
later if you want to hear it. Contact our solicitor and please ask her if she wishes for one of some of the council members to be present to um, at that hearing. I think some of them are in hotel. Um, well, we're, yeah, we're dealing with the COVID and that's the whole thing. Exactly. Now, uh, Mary already gave her grant update. Do you have that letter? Is about the water authority? Yes. Thank you. I have here um, Jack Roop's resignation from his seat on the water authority. Um, due to the vacancy chair, um, it is my understanding that there are um, some people that are interested in that vacancy chair. And since there is more than one, um, I think it would only be um, fair if we advertise that seat and ask for interested parties to notify us in writing before the next council meeting in August um, and decide at that point in time who we will appoint to take over his seat um, on the water authority for BCIMA. Discussion, comments, concerns? Would this be on um, the Brown Facebook page to announcement, or is this something we put the board out? Well, we, we can put it on the Facebook page, but we also have to have it to the progress. We also have to have it submitted um, on the progress. Diane can also do that for us, okay. um, stating that um, to represent the borough council, um, the um, Board of the ACINA um, anybody that's interested um, needs to submit a letter of interest uh, to the Colbert Borough Council unless they have to either be a property owner within the Colbert Borough limits or a resident of the Colbert Borough in order to be considered for the seat. Business. Oh, that's what I said. They even, you said oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Property. That's all right, but it's even more of a That's not. I'm sorry. You're right. You're correct. <clears throat> Who made the motion? What to accept his resignation? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so his letter reads. I, John R. Root, resign from BCIMA Board. Thank you for the appointment to represent Coldport Borough. And then he signed his name, and it is dated July 6th, 2020. So do I have a motion to accept his resignation from that board? Yeah, I'll make that motion. Okay, Kevin, um, make the motion. Do I have a second? I second that motion. Any discussion, or comments, concerns? All those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Okay. Excuse me, Marty, can you send a copy of that to the sure. board authority? That way we have record of it. Sure. That, that you're working on it. And the appointment that you're going to make will be to fulfill his term on okay. the board. If I, I don't know whether it's two years, three years, one he year. Has one year left. One year yeah, it'll be, his term ends December 31st of next year, 2021. So it'll be. Just so there's no confusion. 18 that, months. That's basically. how that works. If you're feeling. Not a problem. You got that on your to-do list of things to do? Okay, so make sure that they get that. Okay, also. 
Along with that ad, um, I think it would be in the best interest of the borough if we also have a um, ad for interested parties for um, borough secretary. Um, I just, I just feel that um, we have no applications on hand and um, that we could even draw from if need be. And I just feel that it would be, exactly, um, Noelle had, had told us all that she had had an interview with the Blair County Courthouse. Um, she has not heard about that position yet, but um, there have been several times where the borough has been left high and dry with nobody to fill that position. And I'm sorry, I did that job for a couple months last year and I don't want it. And um, I would rather have somebody to draw from if we ever needed to. I uh, actually spoke with uh, Captain McCuffer just today and asked a little bit ago again. Um, I was telling her about some of the issues. She may, she wants to take it over and, and find out what is, uh, you know, the, the chart of accounts, exactly where we're at, uh, how much work's going to be put into it, how many hours before she could uh, give us a, uh, a price. But we might be wise to have, well, she's already taken care of the payroll, so if we could get her the bills and everything else, uh, email to her or send to her either way however we do it um, we can finally get our numbers in line and i think for uh, where we're at we'd be smart to uh to do that if we can get her to come back she uh she wants to think about it and just uh so i'm, I'm going to be in touch with her so if that comes to that it might be where we can just send everything to her and uh, she can take care of not only the payroll, but the billing and uh, everything else, our budget and uh, where our numbers are going to be put back in line. Uh, right now we're looking, like I said, we're like, uh, we have about like $31,000 that we need to come in and share revenue. And uh, without that, without that shared revenue, we we got to keep like, this thing taken care of. 19 is going to be our biggest important thing. Right. Uh, other than that, really, until we get that taken care of, nothing else matters really because we can't get grants or anything. So, we, should be, we should know more next week or even later in the week to where, uh, what kind of shape we're going to be in here in the future if, uh, if needed. So. So you want to hold off on advertising for a second day? Um, yeah, I just, I'll bring, I'll get into that later. Um, yeah, we're going to hold off on that. I, mean, I, I would think so. Okay. Just until. Okay. Okay. Just until I you know, talk to her and find out on her and, um, just so Okay. Does the other councilors agree with that? Do you know Marilyn Hayes? She's a, she's a uh, tax count. I, uh, yeah, yeah, that might be the way to go for what we're paying if we can get her at a decent price. And we've looked into it before. As, uh, Mr. Spade knows, and, uh, if we can get somebody uh, with her experience on our side, that would be beneficial to, the board, to us and everybody else. So. I think the president has a valid statement, and I would wonder what the other counselors felt about what she projected. She can't make the motion. I understand and, that, and I didn't get to that point yet. So I feel like um, 
We can hold off a little bit. I mean, they allow us to be with us for a little bit. Yeah, and even and if I do get the dog, I'm still mm -hmm. willing to come up here and pay bills until you guys do find somebody. So I think something like that could be on hold for a little bit, is my opinion. Okay. I think so too. Um, I think eventually we will need somebody here in office to be able to transfer that stuff to Jada if she does come back. Um, but for now, we're <laughs> for now we're good. I wish Noel good. Thank you. But like she said, um, I feel like she's gonna pull through with us even if she does hear something soon. Hope so. And then um, she gets the her journey. Oh. Yeah. I know she's willing to help. <laughs> That's all we need. Any other discussion or questions? Was there a motion on that you wanted? Uh, I I to asked to advertise for. Uh, no, there was no motion made to advertise. I asked what they thought about it, and Reverend Spade, I am more incapable of running this meeting. Thank you. I just was asking. Kevin, do you have anything more to add? I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I wanted to wait for you guys. No. I, I didn't know if you guys were discussing anything that you wanted to bring up or not on the subject, and I didn't want to move it along until you were ready. I just brought them up to date with something. That's okay. That's all right. Um, are we okay to move along from that subject? Yes. Okay. Trees on Main Street. We had some trees on Main Street that were um, trimmed for us, without our knowledge. And so we had to file a report on that. So that's been taken care of. Um, so that, that report's already taken care of and it's where it needs to be? Yeah. Okay. So I wanted you guys to know that that's all done. Are we talking about the trees that are with the sidewalk? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Several businesses did catch that. <coughs> so all of that was taken care of. Also, there is a tree on Filbert and Railroad Street. Okay, when you're coming, you're traveling north. Okay, um, there's a stop sign there. Okay, so when you are at Filbert and Railroad traveling north, so you would be coming this way towards the borough building, the tree is blocking the stop sign. You can't see the stop sign until you're almost on it. Okay, okay. Can the branches be trimmed so that you can see the stop sign as you're coming to it? Okay, we're going to, uh, we plan on going down by the fire hall and do that area tomorrow. So while we're out, we'll try to get that done. Okay. The bridge? Yes. Okay. That right there is about the only thing that I, that I really saw, but I don't travel a lot of streets all over the place. Did anybody else see any other trees that are blocking a stop sign? And I think that would be didn't, here. but I'm concerned about that one tree. Like right at the cross here, like going down, it's not on Forest Street, but then you go straight, like from my house. On oh, Railroad. Right. Is it still oh, Railroad right. Street? Yeah, that's still Railroad. So yeah. it's still Railroad Street before you turn off Forest Street. Great. Right. That's one. one that's kind of leaning yes. down below right yeah. It doesn't yeah. look like it's. Everybody's yeah. concerned about that. Damaged, but it, I mean, it doesn't look like it's coming out, but it, like how strong is that tree? It's been out like that for a long time. Yeah. I was kind of like, should I go around? Because I don't want that thing coming down on me. <laughs> now, is that on somebody's property? I believe it is. Yeah. 
That's right below um, Richard. Richard. Yeah. I'm just waiting for like a lightning something. A big old oak. Yes, and it's beautiful though too. But it's scary. <laughs> so I I I ask you to keep special you know, like when you're out driving and, and there's any safety hazard or anything like that, tree limbs blocking a, a stop sign or you know, keep special note of that so that those things can be taken care of. So that you know, we we don't want you know, safety hazards like that getting in the way. Anything else? Okay. Mayor's report. Uh, middle of the year, June, and we had uh, only three permits so far. I uh, a total amount for the three permits, hundred and twenty-five dollars. Not a very good six months. Anything else? And that's all I have for tonight. Oh, the um, the call meeting was that. Oh, get that straight now. Yes, I meant to tell you went to uh, Okayla. Yeah. Okay. It's held on uh, East Market Street. And I'll, I'll tell you how to get there because uh, since all this has been going on with the virus, that's where the meeting. Okay. And it's an old elementary school down there. And she worked faster than what I thought. <laughs> I didn't think you could notice that fast. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all. <laughs> Um, I think too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Street Lights Committee, Sean. Uh, I missed the preparation meeting. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, there's a possibility that 10 of the meter lights that were removed in 2018 are still being, still being either charged for or we paid a fee because we it's a, it's a 20 year contract for the meter lights, right. the meter lights. And we're about 10 years into it. And when they were removed, we might have paid a fee that we negotiated not to pay. Okay. I'm um, trying to get a hold of uh, Janet Hoover, mm -hmm. but I emailed her and then it came back to me. She didn't want to pay. Kidding me. No. So I am going to look at the bills again, see if there's any contact info there at the bottom. Okay. If not, I'm going to try to call the general room because I talked to someone I haven't talked to. So talk to Calvin, may have like a contact number. Okay. Um, and he said he would help in any way he could. Um, he did a lot of calling back and forth with her. Okay. Um, because if, if the emails getting kicked back, of course, you know, when they're no longer with the company, they, you know, the emails kept for so long, but then they just delete the email. So if he did a lot of calling, which I believe he did, mm -hmm. um, there may be a contact number um, that he has, and mm -hmm. there may be, you know, somebody else, you know, that was moved into her position that we may be able to work with. So call my brother. Mm -hmm. um, Anything else? Uh, you covered the trees on Main Street. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. Um, now it does say here that the streetscape committee is going to pay for all the trees to be trimmed professionally. Okay. So that's, <laughs> that's what the note says. All right. Uh, other than that, that's it. Okay. We're gone, parks and buildings. I had a lot of people on vacation that the skitter is still off the road, and I'm gonna contact my uncle. Um, I did contact him, he's supposed to call me back today, tonight or tomorrow, and we should be on the go to get those ones done at the park. And then the school has not been in session yet for the vote tech. I've been keeping in touch with that. Um, I did look at some other options. Um, I'm just getting back from those two. So I think a lot of businesses are just now starting to go and there'll be limit of hours and days. 
So I'm um, just cutting in between, getting those hours and stuff like that too. Once some other ones are in. Okay. Kevin. Yes. Do you want to cover your stuff in the negative session or do you want to go for it? No, I'll just uh, go over uh, in the executive. Okay. Um, and Robert isn't here, or Bobby isn't here. Um, And he wasn't at um, the meeting on Wednesday. Noel, right to your report? Um, I've gotten one request, and since Bobby's not here, I have not been able to complete that yet. Okay. But whenever he gets up here and can sign one of the papers, then we'll okay. Good. Okay. Finance report. Have you guys had a chance to look over the finances? Uh, no, what was the uh, recommendation? What was the, what did they want? His bond paperwork we signed. And yeah, that's the only thing that I'm really missing right now. I just need him to sign his uh, bond certificate. Okay. There were seven different requests on that one request, was there not? Yes. Provide the other six. Okay. And then thank <laughs> And then I'll just have to wait on the other one. Okay. And you provide it when you have it. We can't provide what we don't have. Is the central air in this building going to be repaired? No, we have a boiler. <laughs> central air would be nice. I wonder if there's a grant for that. It's just not in the budget. It wasn't here at one time. Yeah, it was at her. I think it's yeah. all removed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there was three phase power. I don't know if I can take it out. So I do let people know what's on it. 
So council hasn't seen the Open Records Office final determination? I haven't seen anything. That's why, that's why we're asking you. I, you know. well, there, it's by law. You lost the appeal and you had 30 days. Well, I didn't really get to tell the council about that. that <laughs> some of it, not all of it. Some of it. At least the two important ones. Yeah, yeah I have the, for the appeals case, I have the final determination from that. It's up at the office. It's uh, like a little report. Okay, and what was it? Uh, there were some things that are being permitted to see and others that were like kind of declared moot. Moot. Because, yeah, because, right. because we already got them. <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. that's the thing. The two that weren't still, they awarded me that way through the appeal. Okay. We just now want to, uh, the board needs to see what was requested. Just not that there was a request. Yeah. Well, that's your that has, that has, you guys keep the board up on that. I so, so. Yeah. Yeah. You saw the final? It's online. Anybody can see it. I got a copy. Yeah. Well, as email. Right. So we went back after the finance report, we went back and discussed the right to know stuff. So I just waited to get you all up over it. Thank you. And then you have the audit report as well. You were provided a copy of the audit report if y'all want to wait for um, Paul and Katie. Yeah. Okay. So but you now have she has our copies. Mm -hmm. You can look over it and familiarize yourself with it. If you have any questions, one of those questions so you will be there for Paul and Katie when we're together. Did I hear you say you have the audit report before you right now? Yes. Are we allowed to hear the uh, conclusions? Like in the last one, there was uh, nine things that the borough was to do, and I wonder if they were done. Uh, there yes, was they were. not anything that we were supposed to have done. They didn't include anything like that in the audit report. Okay. So they didn't have a narrative in this? Yes, they did. Okay. Yeah, I'll know tomorrow uh, from Link when uh, they will uh, be able to come up. We're hoping it's going to be after six sometime so everybody can be here on council to go over the audit. And Mr. Uh, Link will give that to us. Yeah, whenever I sent the email, I told her it had to be after because of different council members coming from the yeah. So. Uh, What did they state was their type of? It's not a yellow jacket report. Do they have a, a title on it? Yes. Where did you see that? Uh, on that, no, but I know what uh, from what they told me. It's an open. It's it, it's uh, actually. Uh, let's see what I wrote down there.
It was a no audit opinion what it came back as. Excuse me? No audit opinion what they called it. Wow. Evidently, you know what that means. Yeah. Found that out last week. Yeah. My goal is to have 19 done within the next couple of weeks by the end of the month. Uh, because the longer we're holding off, we're not getting that shared revenue. It's not that shared revenue that we are. You know, that's we are that's something right. important. The only thing that's important right now is uh, the revenue. So. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So far, so far this year, we've only had uh, one rail of the park. Of, uh, um, we have had multiple rentals, but you guys made it now a donation only basis. So the amount that is budgeted, chances are we're not going to get that much. Yeah, that's, we're, I, we talked about that before. We're going to change. We're going to have to change that because uh, you know, especially at last year, when the two biggest uh, people who used it. Didn't give a donation. Right. Yeah. But we went on somebody else's word who said that when we made it a donation, they give this big, huge donation. <laughs> yes, I've only gotten two donations. I got, uh, it was from one person. She had given a donation from when she used one last year and for this year. Okay. So she gave us a total of $50. And probably use one of the big areas. I don't know if she did last year, but this year, yes, she did. The Presbyterian Church thanks the borough for allowing us to have it in 19, and I'll make sure that we give a good donation. Thank you. Thank you. However, this is a fee, and because it's a fee, it costs. There's a motion for a fee. Is it what I heard? No, there is no motion for fees. Oh. There's no motion on the table right now. Okay. There is a discussion going on. Thank you. We are half-heartedly discussing procedure. Okay. This one's looking for clarification. Three motions are made, you have to put time, time, specific times as to how long that motion is in effect, especially when you want to collect fees for something. 
You know, is it just for that year or is it that's it? A motion remains in effect until there's another motion made that it blocks it off, that that goes that trumps it. And the worst part about it is when you have anything that incurs a fee where fees and things are involved, um, you can't jump off in the middle of a season, such as rental of a park, rental of a community room, and expect somebody who has been, such as the community room or the park, who has been renting it all this season, and then stay starting in August, now right. we're going to charge a fee. That's right. not fair for all those people prior to that who didn't, you know, weren't expected to pay anything. Well, I, mean, I can't in good conscience do that to people. And we're kind of screwed for this year. You know, you think, you know, people would think electricity, water, porta johns, hauling out the trash, cleaning up, making sure the grass is moved, making sure they have a good park to use. You know, all that costs money. We have to pay Walt. I mean, he's a good-hearted person, but out of the goodness of his heart, and him and Perk aren't going to go down there and spend several hours mowing the grass, cleaning up, taking out garbage, turning on the electricity on his days off so that people can enjoy the park. All this costs money. And people use the park, and they don't think of how much money this actually costs the borough to have the park down there. And they use it and nothing happens. You know, it's it costs the borough more money to have the park. I love having the park for people to use. Hey, but I don't mean to interrupt you. Did that, was a letter sent to John Shaw? He did a lot of work there. Yes, we have a thank you he did for John Shaw. Yes. yes. He did a lot of work. Yeah, him and his group did. did. Yes, he did. Painting, mulching, yeah. all kinds of stuff. You can read fresh and wash the water with the river. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. You do. You do. Oh, yeah, that's everyone. Thank you. How many wash bottles here do you know? <laughs> so, let's see. I mean, we can't change the one from a donation to charging, you know, now. Don't you think it should be an ordinance added to the codification and that would take a couple an months? Ordinance is a law. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it should it, it would take a couple of months before you could even do it. Very time consuming, but if this is the one that you guys like, then it does kind of break it out a little bit better. 
Uh, uh, on wall yeah, this is what. I know it's probably a lot of work. I wish they would have stuff like that on their book instead. Yeah, because with the other one, I had to do a different font size to get it on those pages. Or else you guys were going to have like seven different pages. Right, I need my reading glasses. Hey, any idea when we're going to get reimbursed uh, from the townships? That usually doesn't happen until after August because in August we pay the fire company premium. So we would have to wait until later to get that reimburse the two reimbursement checks. Okay. You should have received this by now. What's your cost? Yeah, and I'm going to be calling Swift to speak to them because on the um, paper it says about 9000 but I know it's still more than that. It was about so, 9200. Well, it? yeah. um, it's usually around 12 almost. And well, I didn't think it was that high the last time. I thought it was. It's, that's years. whenever we had the issue. I paid the 9000 and then you guys got the notice about your cancellation. Uh, cancellation. That's what happened. They, I thought that the 9000 was the whole premium and it wasn't. It's oh, around oh, second, second go around. Yeah. So it's actually almost 12000 Yeah, so I'm going to call Swift and find out the actual total amount. Because that's going to be and probably new need to be paid by August, isn't it? August? Yeah, it, it should be. It's due in August. Yeah, it's due in August. Due, so due in August. That 9000 yeah. is due in August, and then they hit us again in May for like a little over 1000 Well, That's how you have your premium set up. Well, we want to pay them in full. We want to pay right. the whole shebang. And what happened was um, the 9000 was paid last year, and we were with the understanding. It, it's a little over 9000 We were with the understanding that was paid in full. So whenever that bill came in for over $1,000, um, it wasn't paid. So when you had it initially set up, you paid, or like some insurance that you paid so many months, and then... Yeah, so that's how they had it set up. Two, three months, four months later, you get now with another one and another yep. one. Right. But so I'm gonna I have it on my list to call them tomorrow morning to call uh, Kristen and find out exactly how much is owed for the total premium and then I'm sending a check out. Yeah, sure. And then we'll get that. Then, then you'll get your reimbursement, Kevin. Yeah, then I'll um, then I'll create the invoices and send it to the carry in white and then I'll get the reimbursement checks. Okay. We need it. Not as much as we need to share them to the How much did the audit cost? We don't know. We don't know yet. yet. We don't know yet. We won't know until they come and go over everything with us and then they'll send us the plan though. Yeah. Thank you. Right here.
I'll make a motion to pay what we need to uh, pay to keep the borough in operation for now. Uh, I second it for the next for the next council meeting. Any discussion? Comment? Concern? No, we're not, until we uh, until we speak with uh, the auditors. That's that's. Okay. All those in favor signify by aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed? <clears throat> Anything for the good of the borough? Any comments? I still didn't hear a motion to uh, advertise for the seat on the water board. You discussed it, but you didn't have a motion on the floor. Yeah, I'll make that motion. We got to advertise the seat for the water board. Um, so if anyone wants to accept that too. I'm sorry, I got moving along when we accepted his resignation. I'm sorry. Kevin made a motion to advertise for the seat. By the second. Oh, sorry. So I'm seconding all um, any discussion. All those in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Anything else? Yes. Before we jump into that, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys we plan on using the park on July 12th for our poker float. Yes. I, we moved it from the lab when we pulled it, we were going to use it in June. Right. But so I figured I'd just let you guys know we're going to bump it now to Sunday. Right. Okay. Sunday. You have that reserved for them, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, we did. Did they? Okay. All right. So, and that begins at what time? 10 a.m. Ten a.m. So we should be clear. We should be like clear people out of there by six. one o'clock, and then all of our be all of the vehicles should be out of the park by six or seven. Okay. Cause they park there. But they park there. They park water. Yeah. We'll see how yeah. that goes. I'm a kayaker. Right? I understand that generally. I haven't kayaked in like three four years. But yeah. How many applicants do you have? Uh, for pre-registration so far, I think we're up over hundred. And uh, a lot of all a lot of people come in and just register on the day of. They just they just wait until they find out what the weather's going to be like. It's going to be a nice day. You know, we might have another hundred free registrations this week. Okay. Fantastic! So if you're a kayaker, I support our local fire company. Would it be all right if you moved your one quarter John down to either do we have to have the or no? no. Okay. Could yeah, 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 yeah. Cross. I think they are going to cross one. Yeah. Time. I always looked at the distance. Is that what you did? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I noticed last year a lot of the pretty much women were all running way over. If you want to buy a flagpole, that'll be the spot. You know. Okay. Because okay. you don't get two anymore, right? You don't have one. Yeah, you don't have two. Down by the basketball court, and then there's one by the handicap parking lot. Okay. Because one year there was by the Little League field there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah since there's no Little League, I didn't think you, you don't need to cut it back or something like that. Okay. All right. Now, your poker float. Is there a cost for that? Yeah, if you pre-register, it's $15. And if you register the day, I'll just fine. And when do you have the pre-registration to the end or the date? Until the day of. I think we usually shut it down Saturday night. Okay. And can I ask how you, um, I don't see a whole lot of, like, how you get the word out, like, Facebook, honestly. Facebook, and then, and then up at the school, they up toward the school next to Penguins, they have a big banner there. Yeah, I've got I've got five of those put up. I have one at uh, the intersection of Beaver Valley and Fifty Three. I have one at Nagel's Crossroads above Pirate Cove. I have one at the top of the Buckhorn. I, I have one down in Argonna, and I have one in um, at the Fergalli intersection by Consolidated Steel. Oh. Yeah. I think I just paid attention to the road. <laughs> it seems like a lot of I tried to, I tried to do the intersections kind that of like might be a good thing now. Like, <laughs> yeah, I want to hit all the state park intersections because no. you can't have a in the state park. But if you get all the roads that come out of it. Yeah. Do you have a website from that Facebook you said? Uh, yeah, there's a link right from our Facebook page and it will take you to the pre-registration form. Okay, I was just asking a question. I never see a whole lot of um, 
you know, the word out. So that's why I'm just saying. And that's why it surprised me because there's people that say, oh, I didn't even see anything about it. But a lot of our posts get a lot of interactions. When I put the first post up, it had almost 10,000 people interact with it. Oh, okay. I'm going to look into that. Thank you. Yep. Anything else? Comments? Okay, we are going to enter into executive session regarding personnel litigation. Um, that is 811. Um, we will begin with the litigation part of our um, executive session. You're an executive of this and that need to be turned um, on. Yeah, we could, well, Everyone has everything to has to be turned in, right. turned off, poured down, gone, out of here, um, and people have to leave. And if that are going to be involved in this, you don't have to stay out and get the plan again. Thank you. Um, and when we read, thank you so much um, for me.